Yesterday, the Dow closed above 2,007 highs. This morning, futures have a positive tone as Germany's top court announced that it would back the Eurozone's 700 billion euro bailout fund. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg admitted in his first public speaking engagement since the IPO that the company's early mobile strategy was wrong. And finally, all eyes will be on Apple's product launch today at 1 o'clock. I'm Lindsay Bell, and the morning call starts right now. Good morning. I'm Scott Rudlitt, Chief Strategic Officer of T3Live.com. And I'm Lindsay Bell with The Street, and together we bring you the Morning Call Express. This morning, futures are positive, and th that's thanks to Germany. They, their high court said that they would back the bailout fund there. So that's exciting news. But more exciting news is going to come this afternoon with Apple when they release their iPhone 5. What are you watching today? <laughs> There's a lot to, to watch, and I think the first obstacle was Germany approving the bailout fund. That was where the bears were saying, oh, the bulls are going to get theirs, but meanwhile they ratified it. That's behind us. Also, the ECB is behind us. There's a lot behind us. A after we get through every different scenario, it seems like the bulls keep building confidence. Now, eyes at 1 o'clock, we'll be on Apple. I know yesterday, high beta tech took the day off, but I thought the rally broadening out yesterday with the refiners, with the banks, with the consumer staples was more of a healthy sign versus the leaders taking a rest. Now the S&P is holding above its prior breakout level. So what level should you watch today? Well, we talked about the healthiness of the indices holding above the recent breakout. If you look at the chart of the SPX, you will see, you know, we talked about this, you know, cup and handle pattern where we broke out last Thursday right above 14.15. You had a nice two-day move and look what we've been doing here. We've been resting, consolidating above the prior breakout, which is healthy. So everyone is saying, oh, we're stalling, but they don't realize that this is just healthy digestion. So at this particular point, we're going to be opening near the highs of this handle of about 1438 or higher this flag. At this point, if we close above 1440 on a 60 minute basis, you're going to see another squeeze and we could see close to you know 1445 to 1450 today. But again, just don't chase price. Hopefully you're involved because there's been a lot to be involved with. And as you mentioned already earlier that the queues, they've been were weaker a little bit over the last couple of days, but we've seen strength in the financials and the refiners. So what are you watching? I just think that you know you need to be involved in a little bit of everything. We've talked mm -hmm. about a position approach, taking six, seven positions, having a hedge with some spiders. That's what I've been trying to do since August. You, know, you saw some power from the banks yesterday. Stocks like J.P. Morgan continuing, Bank of America playing catch up. You, know, you, you see Goldman Sachs leading the way. Yesterday, the OAH is closing the highs. So once again, you know there's a lot of sectors participating. So those of you who've approached the market with a macro and intermediate plan, you're starting to get rewarded as well as traders that are looking to follow the cash flow, just like in a stock like Visa we talked about. Look at this. Boom. Trading above this level. MasterCard continuing, you know, four days up. XLF, just to talk to you with overall finance, you know, financials. Look at this nice breakout here. Flagging, not really much of a pullback. So guys better, you know, continue to be on their toes and shorts. You know, if you're rolling them up, you know, you're probably going to be looking for another job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably. Let's take a look at Apple stock, though, because going into that event today, we've seen the stock come down. So what's the likelihood of a sell-off after today's news. Well, I think it's actually good that we sold off into it, so this mm -hmm. way they can't just try and sell the news the way they always do. But they couldn't even do that with Amazon. You remember Amazon's la last week, their product release, it was at the highs, they tried to sell it off and it powered through, that's when Google powered through. Now, you know, we got back in Apple yesterday with, as it held this 21 day, you look at the chart right here, you know, this is an upper level channel. Everyone's so worried about Apple, but meanwhile, you know, it's still above the 644 highs, it's still channeling up here, it held the 21 day. And at this point, you know, after the news release or after one clock if it starts getting above 670 it'll head towards this upper end you know these stocks aren't always breaking out sometimes you have to digest big moves which we've seen since July about a hundred points so so far so good here's your support yesterday was about 656 there's your resistance and then within here we'll see this range trade and you just want to quickly touch on gold too because that's been holding up strong yeah gold ignited on August 20th and 21st with silver you know, I, I was long it for a, a lot of the last few weeks. I actually sold mine Friday, but I mentioned just because I sold it doesn't mean it's a short. All right, it just means it's extended. For gold bulls, they're talking 2000 and above. Silver, I think people are saying 44. You look at the chart of gold right here. You know, look at this move. You know, look at this gap up, you know, continuation, 
pull back Bible into the 21 day. Then here you go again. And then yesterday I drew this as it was flagging, holding this gap. I said, even though I'm not in there, doesn't mean you don't have to be, you know, but at this particular point, I think it's opening above this high here of 169. So if it holds above 169, you have to start looking further back to more macro charts. And the next resistance here doesn't come into play until about 172. We're going to get into all this and more in the long form version, so be sure to tune in for that. Hi, I'm Sean Hendelman with T3 Live, where we train, coach, and mentor traders in order to help you put your money to work with confidence. The T3 Live approach is a blueprint for you to recognize, adapt, and ultimately take advantage of different market conditions. To begin your training with T3 Live, we would like to offer you the opportunity to enroll in our free 30-day online home study course. Fill in your name and email address and I'll see you on the other side.